And the debate over refugees and allowing them into the U.S. continues to stir up debate. As of this afternoon, 31 states have requested the president to not allow refugees into their states, including North Carolina. And that's stirring up debate on both sides. WNCN Steve Sprasia is here with more on how this is starting to get into our governor's race. Steve? Well, Sharon and Steve, uh, Sharon and Sean, I should say, today the NCGOP called upon Democratic gubernatorial candidate Roy Cooper to answer questions about what he would do with refugees here in North Carolina. Carolina. Now, this comes at a time when governors in many states and the federal government are all battling over just how effective the screening process for refugees is. Standing in front of the offices of the state's attorney general, the executive director of the NCGOP asked where Roy Cooper stands with regard to Syrian refugees. Does he support what the governor, 10 members of the congressional delegation, and the leadership in the General Assembly, as well as other governors do, that these Syrian refugees should not be coming to North Carolina uh, till the safety and security of the program be evaluated? In a statement, Cooper told us he supports asking the federal government to pause refugee entries to make sure that they have the most effective screening and that our humanitarian efforts aren't hijacked. Federal statistics indicate about 2,200 Syrian refugees have been admitted into the United States since 2011, a little more than half of them children. But how are they vetted? Well, first they apply to the United Nations, which decides if they can be resettled. If the UN sends them to the United States, a two-year screening process begins, which includes a medical evaluation, background checks, and interviews with homeland security officials specializing in Syrian and Iraqi refugees. However, vetting those refugees can be difficult, given the situation in Syria, because records there are hard to come by, and the U.S. has no permanent diplomatic presence in Syria, which adds to the problems in back-checking refugee histories. For Syrians currently living in North Carolina, the move to keep them out is appalling. Absolutely, I'm not agree with this decision. I hope it's not, nobody agree. And he says it's just not fair. And what do the refugees who are here in North Carolina expect from this country? Well, coming up at 7, we'll tell you. Join me then. All right, Steve, thank you.